So please welcome the piano, Peter Gabriel. <laughs> who fits into that bracket beautifully. It's because it's welcome to the show. This is a fantastic orchestra you have here, fantastic sound. Although it has meant that we've pushed the whole studio around. Maybe the viewers won't notice that, but everything has changed. Yeah, well, in we appreciate that. Well, no, it's, it, we appreciate the sound. But now the record is great. It's a beautiful record. Uh, but the sleeve, I'm not sure what that. I couldn't. I looked at the sleeve. I liked it, but I wasn't sure what it it's was. It's a cell on a pin, but it's it's called New Blood. So we were looking for bloody type things. Um, so that's a bloody. So that's a blood cell sort of thing, it magnified, is. like yeah. it's run from a microscope type. It thing. is, yeah. Great. That's answered a lot of questions. Good. <laughs> I hope that, yes, I didn't want to. I didn't want you to drop any veil of mystery, but I was just sort of rather interested in the. Yeah. In our, and what made you decide to make a record with an orchestra rather than you've done things on you know solo before? What was what was your thinking? Well, it sort of fell out of the back of the last project, which was this songwriters exchange idea, and we did that with orchestra. And uh, when we came to tour, and I realised I didn't have enough material just with the scratch my back stuff, so we started doing mine. And, uh, you know, it's this wonderful arranger, John Metcalf, and I really loved uh, the way things were going and thought, OK, well, let's make it a record, and that's what it is. And you've been touring with this vast number of people. Yeah, it's been fantastic. And it was scary at first. Yes, I mean, I have a big band of, like, whatever it is, 22 people, but you've got sort of 50 people or something. Something like what, that. What, what are the advantages and the disadvantages of having so many well, people? Well, size isn't everything, but... No. Uh, but it does count for something. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and uh, no, it's just, it's amazing to be in front of uh, so many brilliant players and uh, there's this huge live noise being generated. Yeah. What was the first, can you remember the first gig you ever did? Um, I was as a drummer um, in a pretty bad jazz band. Yes, yeah. yeah. Who, when you first started playing, who did you, if you, who did you want to be when you grew up, if you see what I mean? Oh, well, Otis Redding was my hero, and um, and then you know people like the Who and the Beatles and mm. but soul and R and B I think were the, the first thing to sort of kick me off. Mm. Now we've got a bit of footage because you are in this corner of the room. Yeah. So we've got we haven't here got, we go we haven't got you with your first <laughs> no but it was it's, it, we haven't got you with your first um, uh, jazz band performance. When, what were you age sort of twelve or something? Yes. Yeah, so, yes. Yeah. yeah we don't have that. Uh, but what we do have is a complete contrast to this. Instead of you with a vast orchestra, yeah. we've got you completely a solo from about 1979. All right. Love! Change the talk. No. Oh. Although, you know, I didn't. I could hear elements of Otis Redding in your voice. Oh. It's the same register or something. I'd never. But once you said you liked him, I suddenly could hear something of that. And he was like the sun coming out. I, I saw him live in London in '67. Best gig ever. What's the next thing you're going to play for us? Um, it's a song called San Jacinto. Uh, this is sort of Native America meets American culture and. Uh, it was from a story told to me by a porter in a hotel in the Midwest who had been an Apache brave, and it's a long story. I won't do it, it is now. good, but he just told you this. He, what, we were sort of bumped into it. Um, it. It sort of started the story rolling, and then a few other things were thrown in. Yeah, his apartment was burning down at the time. Um, but he could, took the time to talk to you? No, I took the time to drive him to his apartment, oh. <laughs> and we got talking afterwards. I mean, I don't want to go on about this, but are you no. saying, because I was about to finish the interview, but you say, <laughs> a fellow said to you, quick, help me, my apartment's burning down, yeah. can you drive me to you? Um, is this what happened? This is what happened, pretty yeah. much. He was not worried at all about his possessions burning, but he was worried about his little cat, which actually survived. Oh. But then, um, yeah, I'm sure you don't have time for this, but it's a long story. Good, that is it. <laughs> I'll tell you afterwards. <laughs> not, only, not only a genius, but a saint, saving all these people. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Thank you, saint and genius, Peter Gabriel! <laughs> Fantastic orchestra.